Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. On this vlog, I'm actually starting a little late. I think is, I don't even have my Apple Watch right now. I usually go like, what time is it? It's a freaking six and I'm supposed to meet up at 6.30 with our friends to have dinner. And I have to hurry up and get ready because I have not even done my makeup. Um, so I need to hurry the hell up. It's just a normal little dinner with our friends, so nothing crazy. But I thought I would start off the vlog right now. It's Sunday. Oh no, it is Saturday actually. It was just a busy day. I had class today, I had other stuff to do around the house, and now it's freaking late. I have to cook dinner right now. And Bruno showered the kids before we leave, so I'm a little late. I need to hurry up. So the good thing is we got dinner done, so the kids are gonna have dinner. My sister's gonna come babysit, and I am just gonna do my makeup as quick as I can. The good thing is I don't put a lot of makeup, and I don't really put too much effort. It's just, I just like myself very simple. But right now I'm just brushing out my eyebrows, and I use this right here, which is um, got to be glue for my eyebrows. It is so bomb. If you don't use this, you need to use this. I bought these little tubes um, from Amazon a long time ago. I'll link the little tubes down there and I'll link the got to be glue down there. You can find this at Target though, anywhere, um, even Amazon. I just squish it in there. That way it's easier for me and it comes, these little tubes come with like a mascara wand. So I usually put on my lotion before I freaking do my eyebrows, but it doesn't matter. That's just eyebrows. I'm just using the um, which is this one? The Lancome um, Benefit Multivito. It has sunscreen in it. I really love this moisturizer so freaking much. I use it every day. I moved the camera because I feel like it was too over here and you couldn't really see anything. Then I like to spray some of this Fenty Beauty setting spray. I like to spray it before. I feel like it helps the makeup stay. And then I like to do it after I'm done too. And this thing is the best setting spray I have ever tried. I got the little sample just to try it because it was on sale. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. And then if I like it, I'll buy the bigger sample. And guys, the way it sprays is so misty and it feels so good. Can love it so I always do it before and after then I like to move on to concealer Tarte is my all-time favorite I always come back to this one I like trying new ones but this one is always like the winner for me so if you haven't found a concealer that works for you and you haven't tried this one try it out I love it so much I honestly just use this concealer as foundation because I don't know, it just works so good and it's like super good coverage and I don't need any more foundation after this. And I just put it in the areas that I want it to be like more brighter, like my forehead, my nose, under eyes, and chin. And then if I feel like it didn't cover enough underneath the eyes, which is sometimes it happens because I didn't get good sleep, I have like dark circles still, I just do another little coat just on this corner and make it blend really good where it looks like nice and soft especially with the wrinkles Here comes the contour which i've been loving this fenty beauty contour stick and it's in the color mocha in the number three and i've been obsessed with this one i just get the top of my cheeks and in my nose very little my forehead and underneath the cheeks and in the double chin just like that very subtle too i don't try to do it too dark around there because then it would be like two different colors very noticeable and i just blend blend them out blend them out i just love how beautiful it blends it blends like very good with the makeup and it just gives you more of like a natural softer look all right, I already did my contour. Now I'm gonna add my cream blush. I've been loving this one by Ilia. It's in the color Tenderly, and it's like a very soft, beautiful pink. I love it so much. It's kind of like a rosy pink, like that. So pretty, I love it, I love it. I love how it blends too with like the makeup and the face. It gives it such a natural look. I put a lot, guys. I stack it up because it's so very like naturally. It looks like very natural. I put a little bit in my nose sometimes, not all the time, but. I do. You guys hear the kids in the background? And I like to blend it out with my sponge. I feel like it gives it more of a beautiful blend and natural look. See, see what I mean? It looks so pretty and beautiful. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with this cream blush. 
Then I go in with my powder. So I love this Studio Mac foundation powder. I have it in the color N4. And I like to set my makeup with this sometimes, not all the time. I either use fat or I use my Makeup Forever setting powder. But my Makeup Setting Forever, ugh, I can't even talk. This powder, the Makeup Forever, I love it so freaking much. And it comes with like a little sponge. It gives it such a beautiful airflow makeup but i like to use this one more when i know i'm gonna be sweating a lot or i know i'm gonna be um i want my makeup to stay all day but since i'm just going out to dinner with my friends and this is what i do every day when i run errands just use the studio fix one and this is actually not even a setting powder this is more of a foundation powder but i like it because like you guys seen i didn't add foundation i just added concealer and this will replace like the foundation parts that i didn't add my sister is here that means I gotta go already. I'm almost done though. I'm almost done. My friends are always late though. So I think we're fine. And I just like to set it in my forehead, underneath the eyes, in the chin. I take it down to my neck because you guys remember I didn't add any foundation. So that way it can like blend good. I just take it down. So I don't look like I'm super white right here. And then it cuts open and then I have different colors, you know. You gotta blend them. And then for contour, I've been using these Dior one. This Dior one in the color Amber Bronze in the number six. And it looks like this. A very cute. It had like the Dior. It's a Dior and it still kind of says it, but it was like very pretty when I bought it. Um, and I'm just going to put that where I did my contour to kind of like set it, but look prettier. I love this um contour powder it makes it look well, bronzy what do you think it is oh it's a bronze a bronzy powder i call it contour because i use it to contour more than anything it blends so pretty look at that and it gives such, such a beautiful beautiful color same thing on this side and i just set it everywhere else that i put the contour at just like that very little down here i don't like so much down here i don't want it to be like super noticeable that i'm trying to hide the double chin <laughs> even though it doesn't do its justice i feel like doing that thing where they remove your fat what is it called lipo in your um chin and i think i am gonna do it when i get my tummy tuck because i'm planning on getting a tummy tuck either the end of this year or the beginning of next year <sighs> so much going on this year that it's in the plants it's just i don't know if it's gonna happen like the end or the beginning because we still i still have so much to to do this year and it's just the beginning but Anyways, back to the makeup. I think I'm done. Oh, no, no, no. Blush, blush. Oh, my God, blush. Oh, I've been loving this e.l.f. one right here. It's in the color Always Cheeky, and I love it because it's like a very peachy, natural blush. Um, and I'm just going to put it on top of the other one that I added just to, like, kind of set it a little bit. Um, just like that. I love blush so much. I feel like... Um, like that all right um what else do i need i think that's it i don't want to do too much i don't really feel like doing my eyebrows today but i'm um, like putting powder in my eyebrows no because i'm running late oh my god it's 6 16 we're supposed to be at 6 30 okay, okay okay yeah i'm not doing any more my eyelashes good thing i have extension eyelashes guys i've been learning how to do extension eyelashes on my own i learned on youtube i seen a girl on tiktok doing it herself and i was like you know what i am gonna learn to do them and i actually did Maybe I'll share it with you guys tomorrow when I'm vlogging again tomorrow. I'll share it with you guys in this video. The glue that I'm using, the eyelashes that I'm using, and they're all from Amazon. I'll share it with you guys. But for now, I gotta go. I think this is it. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. It's very, very simple. Oh, lipstick. I almost forgot. You know what? I don't really want to do something crazy with lipstick. I just want the gloss, to be honest. We're gonna be eating, so I don't really care for lipstick today. Just this gloss. Oh my god, I put too much. Guys, oh my god. This is what I hate, and I'm in a hurry, but it happens when you have kids. It was just a busy day today. Yeah, very simple, nothing crazy. Um, oh, I didn't even share which one I'm using. I'm using Summer Friday um, Lip Butter Balm in the color... I don't know. Oh, Vanilla Beige. I'm like, oh no. I was going to say vegan, but I was like, no, I think it's like vegan friendly. But it's Vanilla Beige. It's very, very pretty. It comes with like other colors. I bought the trio and this is just like a pretty brownish color very pretty um but that's it 
I'm done. Let me show you guys my outfit. But this is my outfit. Like I told you guys, the jeans are just flared, nothing crazy. I'm wearing my Vans because I just want to go very natural, very comfy. Yeah, so I'll see you guys at dinner. Veggie pot with spicy sauce. You? Veggie pot. What? Veggie pot with spicy, right? Yeah. You, Izzy? I got the beef pot with rice. And you? Jenny? Beef pot. A beef pot. You got the same thing as Izzy? I got the beef pot with beef. And spicy. And what else? Noodles? I added instant noodles in it. Um, That's like a fish ball. The fish inside? Or oh, it's the outside, like a panecito? This is actually really good. I knew that there is none. We're just gonna try quail egg. I like the egg from my dove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dove? Uh, Man, he's alive. Dude. <laughs> Are you scared or what? <laughs> <laughs> it's still like egg. God. Really? Like normal egg? Yeah. Have you tried yours? No, or you didn't get one? one. Uh, you didn't like it? It's good. It's just gonna kind of wait for it to cool. Uh, I'm gonna try this. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try it. It's crunchy. Yeah. You know what? This tastes like hikima, huh? Just that it doesn't have a flavor. This is like the bra. It is Monday. It's freaking early in the morning. I dropped off Clara at school. So I'm about to go inside the gym. The sun is like on my face. But like I was saying, um, no puedo ver because <laughs> of the sun. I decided to park right here and vlog right here. I'm such an idiot. But I like working out at home, but I also like coming to the gym, especially like when I want to do like back workouts because they have like really good machines to do back workouts. And today I'm working out on my back and some a little bit of my arms. So I was like, I'm going to the gym today. So that's why I like coming to the gym because of their um, weight machines that they have that I can't really do at home, you know. But that is what we're going to do right now. And I just wanted to start off the vlog. But first, I need to drink some water because I don't like taking my big ass water jug. Look how cute this water jug is. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you like it. But it's like a pretty beige color. And this is like a soft, creamy pink color. So cute. I drink my water every freaking day. I probably drink like three of these or two if I'm being like very low with water. Yeah, let's get in there. Put on my headphones so I don't hear no negative shit in there. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So nobody tries to hit up on me and I won't answer back. Ah, just kidding. Nobody tries to do that, but they thought I fall on that. Like, who's gonna try, you know? But, anyways, let's get in there. We are back home. My house is a freaking mess because I didn't clean yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. I didn't clean anything. Look at the dishes. Uh, so I'm gonna spend my whole morning cleaning the house. Good thing my husband fed me already. But I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what I got at Trader Joe's. <laughs> I went right after the gym. 
Um, it's not a lot because I usually get all my groceries at Walmart. They have everything there. But there are some things that I do like from Trader Joe's that I needed. So let me give you guys a little haul. So I got butter lettuce with um, radish in it. It's a little purple one. Love this one. The butter lettuce is just so like, it's so delicious. Have you tried butter lettuce? If you haven't, try it. I just like butter lettuce. I like butter lettuce more than like romaine. It's more like softer. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. So, got some butter lettuce, and I can never find butter lettuce at freaking Walmart. I mean, you can, but like, it's big like this, like for like tacos and stuff, but I like mine cut up, because I'm lazy. So yeah, I got that. Got some green beans, because there was no green beans when I went grocery shopping yesterday at Walmart. So, got some green beans. Got a cucumber, because I forgot my fucking cucumber at Walmart yesterday, but I just got like a normal. I like these better than the other cucumbers. These, um, what are these called? The, there's a name for these. It says English cucumber. I don't know, but these are like more crunchier, so I like these cucumbers better. Got some mango slices. My husband got, like, because we go, we went grocery shopping yesterday, my husband got mangoes, but he didn't get them, because he gets the fruit and I get the vegetables, so we could get out of there, in and out of the grocery store. And he got the freaking mangoes like super hard, so they're not ready to eat yet. And I was like, I wanted some mangoes yesterday, so um, I've seen these right now, the little slices ready to eat. And I was like, I'm about to eat them later on because I'm still fasting. I don't break my fast till 12. Um, got some ABC cinnamon cookies. And these are my kids' favorites. Um, what are yours? My everything but bagel seasoning. Dude, I ran out of this for like a whole two months already and every time I go to Trader Joe's I forget to get this damn thing um so I'm so happy that I didn't forget today because every time I'm doing my avocado toast I'm like oh man I don't have everything but bagel seasoning I love this with my avocado toast it just gives it flavor instead of being bland and then I got some mozzarella cheese I like this little mozzarella cheese oh you guys can't see because of the freaking lighting hi I got this mozzarella cheese. Um, it's like a little bob, but I really love it because when you put it like with like pastas and it melts, it's so creamy, so delicious and cheesy. Um, so I got that. And some olive slices, black olive slices. My kids love olives in their pizza or just like to eat them like that. So I got some olives sliced because I ain't about to be slicing shit, you know? Get them all ready. Last thing is these. Let me put this back somewhere. These are Claire's a freaking favorite. If you've been watching my vlogs, I think I've shared these before like in grocery hauls. Claire loves these PB&J bars. Oh my gosh, she's obsessed with these. And she only likes them from Trader Joe's because I've gotten like, they, they make some like this. Um, they have some at Walmart, but I don't know what brand, but they make some and she doesn't like those. I don't know why she really likes these. I honestly haven't tried these because I'm not a sweet kind of person. Like I don't really like sweets, so I don't really care to even try it. It doesn't even sound as like, look like I want it. But um got her one of these because Leo likes some too, so we got shoes and we're always running out. And that is all I got at Trader Joe's. Now I'm gonna start cleaning this kitchen because I hate when my house is messy. Like I just can't function in life. And I just like everything clean. I talk a lot with my hands, huh? It's like I should just go like this. I don't know. I'm stupid. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so it's another day, and I'm finally going to show you guys the eyelash stuff that I use to do my own eyelash extensions. It is Sunday, and I started vlogging, like, last Saturday, and I've been vlogging throughout the week, but these past three days, I got really sick. I had a fever, guys. I thought I had COVID again. I tested myself yesterday um, and it came out negative. So that is good because I did not want to have COVID again. And I didn't want to pass it on to everybody again, to my kids. So I was like, you know what? Thank God. But today I woke up feeling so, so much better. No fever. I literally had a fever for three days. Like it wasn't a really high fever, but it was a fever enough to keep me in bed all day. And I didn't want to do nothing. Um, but today I woke up with like a stuffy nose, which I rather have a stuffy nose than have a freaking fever Because when you have a fever, you're literally like down and you're not even thinking of doing anything Yesterday was Saturday and I always have um, 
class on Saturdays online, thank goodness. And dude, I did class in bed. Like I did not want to be up sitting down. I just wanted to lay down. I literally, because my class is four hours long, I literally knocked out for like a good 30 minutes because I just couldn't take it from the freaking fever. But oh, thank goodness throughout the day, like more by the end of the day of yesterday, I started feeling so much better. So I was like happy about that. And I'm back to business, okay? I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> to show you guys what I use to do my own eyelash extensions, I'm actually going to fill them in a little bit. Um, I like to keep up with them just because I want them to look full all the time. And if I just let them go, I'm going to have to redo the whole eye. And it takes, literally, it takes me, guys, like four hours to do my own eyelash extensions. Four to five hours. And ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'll get better as I keep learning. I've only been doing them for a good month and a half, almost two months. So I've been doing pretty good with them, but it does take me a long time to do it. So if you're planning to do it, just, just have the patience. I actually enjoy doing it. So the time goes by quick for me. I just know it's four hours because I always know what time I start and at the time I end. I always like to like put to YouTube on and watch some videos while I'm doing my eyelashes or put a podcast and hear it and it just keeps me entertained and just doing my eyelashes really quick. Um, well not quick but it's because it's four hours but yeah I'm going to show you guys what I use. I actually have no makeup on right now. I just have my eyelashes because I'm actually going to fill them in like I told you guys. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I fill them in. And stuff like that so let's let me start with the brands that i use so this is a brand called vava lash this is a brand that i use i found it on amazon it had really good reviews um and i love the way they look they look very pretty nothing crazy the kids are fighting they're always fighting i mean claire because he wants something and he'll start crying about it so if you guys hear kids in the background it's just sam fighting with their toys and <laughs> they're playing they're playing in the room that's how it is being a mom like you're gonna hear the kids in the background you know okay so like i was saying this is the brand vavo lash um and i'll link everything down below that i say is from amazon so definitely look down below if you're interested in these and they're actually the size 0.03 d mix that's what the size is I guess the number means like how thick they are and the letter of the lashes I think it just means like the way the curl is um, I don't know I'm not a lash tech I didn't go to school for lash tech don't trust me in everything I'm just showing you guys what I do you don't have to do this I just like sharing with you guys stuff and if I can share anything with you guys I'll share it but correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments that way I can know and educate myself even more but that's what I've learned so far um I could be wrong and the numbers here on the side they have like little numbers those are the sizes so the 0.3 I think it's like the thickness and then these numbers that come on the side which I have the 8 through 14 which I'm already like freaking done with them um but I have more over here so in the beginning, when I got the 8 through 14, the way they look is so little, but when you put them on your eyelashes, they're actually really long. Um, and I thought they were going to be so small, so I ended up ordering these, which the same brand, but they're the larger ones. And it's numbers 14 to 20, these right here. And they're actually so freaking long, which, um, yeah, I'm not going to be using those super long ones, <clears throat> which I regret. But you can actually like, for example, I like the 14 on this one and it comes on this one too, but I go through them quick because those are the ones I use more in the middle right here. And you can actually with the same company just order like a whole box of just 14s. Or I got the mixed one so it comes to like different sizes, which I like the mixed one because I actually use all these sizes. And let me show you guys the glue, which this right here is a little container where you keep your glue. Um, for eyelash glue, I think you have to keep it in these containers because it just makes them last longer and I think they just don't dry up or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, if I'm wrong, correct me down below. But in here, you can keep your eyelashes, glue, eyelash glues. And this is the glue that I went with. It had really good reviews on Amazon. And the reason I went with this glue is because it had really good reviews. 
it said it was for sensitive skin and it's for people that want to do it on their own so if you know that eyelash glues um, extensions are super super strong they have very high fumes that that's why they make you close your eyes when you get them done so um, you won't burn your eyes with that glue because the fumes are super super strong well I ended up getting allergic reaction to the ones that they use I was going to one girl and at first it was doing good like I was not getting no allergic reaction but out of nowhere like I started getting an allergic reaction my eyes puffed up really bad if you watch my other vlogs you guys seen when I showed you guys that I got really bad allergic reaction I had to remove them my eyes were swollen for like three days um, and I tried doing it again and once again they got um, another allergic reaction um, I tried going with another girl and the same thing hers gave me an allergic reaction too so I was like you know what I'm not gonna do eyelash extensions anymore but then I was scrolling to TikTok and I seen a girl doing her own eyelash extensions and I was like if she can do her eye her own eyelash extensions I can too you know I just thought I couldn't do my own eyelash extensions because um, the glue was very dangerous especially with your eyes open that's what I've heard that's, that's what people that have done my eyelashes told me that the glues are very strong and they are because when you would open your eyes it would burn a little bit so I knew that they were strong so I was always scared and then this girl said you know I use sensitive glue hers was still kind of like fumey you can tell because she was using a fan and her eyes would get red so I was like, okay, um, maybe there is a glue out there though that I could do it myself. So I was like, let me just look on Amazon and read reviews. I just searched up um, sensitive eyelash extension glue for sensitive eyes. And this one popped up and it said right there, do it on your own, no fumes, um, and it's for sensitive eyes. And I was like, let me read the reviews. And the reviews said they were really good. And everybody said how they their lashes lasted for a long time, two to four weeks. And it actually does last for two to four weeks. And I actually don't even put eyelash primer. I know when I would get my eyelashes done, they would put eyelash primer. But I actually don't do any of that. And I just use the glue and they actually last. I mean, they are going to fall out because that's what happens when you get your eyelashes. You know, you have one, some growing out. So they're about to fall out. Um, but this right here is like... I've been having them for a good week already because I redid them. I took the old ones out and redid a whole new set so I can keep up with them again. So this glue, I highly recommend it. No fumes, zero fumes. My eyes don't get watery. I don't get no allergic reaction. This glue is like amazing and I'm so happy I found it. I literally do not have to worry about um, my eyes burning or anything like that because I don't know what they make this glue out of, but it doesn't burn at all and I love it. My other stuff that I bought, glue rings, which helped me actually fan the eyelashes because that's the hardest part I think about doing eyelash extensions is fanning them um, and then placing them in your eye. But I bought these rings and they come in a pack. I'll link them down below from Amazon as well. They look like this. They're adjustable to any size. You guys can see. But I like to place the ring in here and i just use it in here while i'm doing my eyelashes and stuff like that so it's really easy i don't have to like dip it anywhere and after i'm done i just throw away the ring i also bought tape on the side here's my tape i'll link it down below um i don't really use it i only use it sometimes if i can't get in like certain areas i'll tape my eye but it's really rare if i do use it um if i do use it i'll show you guys how i use it today but i do like to have it on the side just in case i do need it for like a, a rough little area or underneath the eyelashes i can get like a little certain one i do use it and tweezers so this came in a set of three and i actually messed up one the only one that i like from this set is actually just this one right here i'm not even going to show you the other ones because i broke it so this is the only one I like from the set. You can actually buy this one on the side if you don't want the set. Because like I said, I didn't like the other ones that came with this one. And the one other one I put in here is actually this one. I bought this one on its own on the side. I really, really love it. It grabs the eyelashes really good. And it's very important that you buy yourself really good tweezers. Um, this one's my favorite to use to grab them. I feel like it's easier to fan them and stuff. It's really, really good. But you are going to need one of these. You can just find it on Amazon. I'll link one down below that I think is really good. That I'll just read reviews for you guys. And this one too. Um, I bought it on its own. And I'll link it down below. I really, really love it. 
and that is all I use for my eyelashes. Now let's get to showing you how I do my eyelashes. All right, so this is how they look. As you can tell, they're very full. This is how I like my eyelashes. I feel like I do a very decent job for being really new at this. I feel like it's pretty good. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. As you can see, I have like a little bald spot right here that we're gonna fill in today. This little spot right there. It's missing a couple in there. I'll probably just add a couple little ones right here in the inner corner. Um, this one too. And a little bit on this side. This one looks looks pretty good still, but a little bit right here on this edge. So, so before I start, I want to tell you guys what numbers I use on my eyelashes. So, in this area in the edge, I like to use a 13, like maybe this this part right here where I'm actually pointing with the brush. This whole part, I like to use a 13, and then I move on to a 14 right here, and then I move on to a 15 right here, like size 15. And then I go in with a 13 right here. I just jump up quick to a 13 right here where I'm gonna fill it in. And then a 12 right here, 11 right here, 10, nine, and eight in the inner corner where I'm missing right there is how I do it. Those are the numbers I like to use on my eyelash to get this look. As you guys can see, this look is a little more fuller than this one. But I would say this is a more like a hybrid. Um, this is literally what I used to get when I used to go get them done. Um, is this exact set. And I just Pinterest it and looked at the girls' eyelashes, how people put them by numbers. There's a lot on Pinterest. I'll show you guys a little sample right here of the sizes they have on Pinterest. Um, and then I like to put the glue in here, fill the little hole up like that much. I have a lot of little hair. I don't know if you guys can see if the camera is actually grabbing it, but there's a lot, a lot of little hairs right there that fell out and I need to redo those. So I like to leave them in their container and just grab them from there because they are like little stickers. As you can see, they can lift up um, and just you can stick them in your hand if you want, whatever is more comfortable or take them out. But I like to just leave them in there and I really don't count lashes I put in my fan. I just grab whatever I think will look good. So I just grab that much. I put them by my finger and all I do is pinch and release from the um, tweezers like that. That's it. That's how you fan them. Then pinch them back. And I dip a little bit in the glue. Not a lot either because if you put too much glue, they're either going to fall out quick or you're just going to make a big mess and they're going to stick to your other eyelashes. And it's going to look very clumpy. So do not use too much glue. Once I dipped in the glue, I put it in one of these ridges right here and I remove a little bit more glue just like that, maybe do it twice and then let it sit under there for a little bit. That way that they can stick together. Um, I let it sit there for like a good 60 seconds while I find my other eyelash. While it's on my finger hanging right there, that is when I go real quick and look for the eyelash that I'm gonna stick it in so I know which one is gonna go on and I don't take forever doing that. And I dip just a little bit more in the glue because the other one did dry up a little bit. And I just place it right on top. Just like that I squish it down just I barely top the tip a little bit so it can attach to the hair that I put it on and push up a little bit just like that very easy nothing crazy I leave it alone I don't play with it too much because if I do play with it too much it's just going to like fall out and it's just gonna be so hard and you're just gonna rub glue all over your other eyelashes but I leave it dry up and I move on to another piece. So if I did it on this area right now, I'm not going to do another one on this area. I'm just going to move on to another area that I want to fill in. That way that one could dry up and it doesn't make a mess or stick to other eyelashes. That's the one I'm going to get right there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. Sometimes if I already separate them, it's easier for me to just move this hand and just place that one on the little hair that I separated on its own. And I'm just gonna do the rest of them. All right, so this is how they look in the end. I already put on a makeup, cause I'm gonna go run errands, but you guys can see the eyelashes look so good and nice and full. 
I just did them real quick. I like to just keep up with them. That way I don't spend hours and hours redoing them when they're all running low. But yeah, I hope you guys like the tips that I gave you guys. I know I wasn't really specific in a lot of things. It's because, like I said, I am not a licensed professional um, lash artist, so I don't really want to get too into detail. Plus, I don't, I'm barely learning, you know? I don't really know a lot, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the products that I do use and just like the simple little things. And if you do try to do it at home, just watch a lot of videos. And literally, there's a lot of girls on YouTube that actually explain how to do it. If you guys want me to go more in depth on how I do it, just give me some time. Um, because I am still learning as it goes. I barely have like a month and a half doing it. So I'm not really like a professional at it. And I still struggle sometimes. But to be honest, they do look good. I just want to get better at it. That way I can have like a specific whole video going towards it. When I'm more educated with it. And as I keep on learning. But I'm going to end the vlog here. So yeah guys, I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to give this video a like. And subscribe if you are not subscribed. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Ooh.